You're listening to Bambino Babble Story. In a lush and lively jungle, the mightiest of all creatures was a majestic lion named Leo. Leo was known far and wide for his immense strength and fierce roar that could shake the very ground. His royal presence struck awe into the hearts of all the animals in the jungle. But amidst this grandeur, there lived a tiny, fragile mosquito named Midge. Midge was unlike the other insects in the jungle. While some insects buzzed and bit, Midge had a different heart. Midge believed in kindness, and the thought of hurting anyone, even a fearsome lion like Leo, troubled him. One sunny day, as Leo rested beneath a colossal oak tree, Midge, driven by curiosity, flew near. The sight of Leo's powerful frame both intrigued and frightened him. With a deep breath, Midge landed gently on Leo's paw. Leo, feeling a slight tickle, stirred and saw Midge. His eyes widened, and his mighty roar rumbled like thunder. Midge trembled but held his ground. In a tiny voice, he said, Oh, great Leo, I mean you no harm. I came to see the king of the jungle for myself. Leo, surprised by the mosquito's courage, paused. You have quite the nerve, little one, he said with a hint of amusement. Most creatures flee from me in fear. Midge replied, I've heard about your strength and power, Leo, but I believe there's more to you than meets the eye. Would you share your story with me? I'd like to know the lion behind the roar. Leo, intrigued by Midge's request, decided to indulge him. He shared tales of his youth, his challenges, and the responsibility of being the jungle's protector. Midge listened intently, his tiny heart filled with empathy. As the days passed, Leo and Midge continued to converse beneath the oak tree. They spoke of their dreams, fears, and the jungle they both called home. Despite their differences, they found common ground in their love for the jungle's beauty and harmony. One evening, a fierce storm swept through the jungle, shaking trees and flooding streams. Leo, concerned for his fellow creatures, roared to alert them of the impending danger. But his mighty roar was drowned out by the storm's fury. Midge, understanding the peril, flew to Leo's ear and whispered, Let me help, Leo. I may be small, but I can do my part. With that, Midge flew into the storm, using his tiny body to shield Leo's ear from the rain. Leo's heart swelled with gratitude. He realized that it wasn't the size or strength of an individual that mattered most, but their willingness to help and the kindness they showed. The storm eventually passed, and the jungle's creatures emerged and scathed, thanks in part to Leo's warning and Midge's sacrifice. From that day on, Leo's roar held a newfound warmth, and Midge was welcomed by all the animals as a hero. The friendship between the mighty lion and the tiny mosquito blossomed. They often sat beneath the oak tree, sharing stories and marveling at the jungle's wonders together. Leo had learned that true strength lay not only in his power but in the friendships he forged and the kindness he showed to all. And so, in the heart of the vibrant jungle, the lion and the mosquito proved that even the fiercest of creatures could learn valuable lessons in humility and compassion from the smallest and most fragile of beings. <laughs>